Hi. Um, so answering a, a lovely ask, flattery will get you very far with me, about how to talk to a partner about your eating disorder. And this is such a, such a common question and source of anxiety for people. Um, and uh, the, the question, the ask rightly acknowledges that most people have just wild misunderstandings of eating disorders. So when, when we broach the topic, it's very rare that the person we're talking to really knows what we're talking about. Um, and often has very kind of harmful beliefs about eating disorders. And um, the way that this question is, is always asked, I think there are a lot of reasons why we, we tend to take on this responsibility, but we, we always tend to frame this um, like, how do I get this right when I tell my partner about my eating disorder? How do I get the conversation right? This asker mentions like guiding him to a better understanding, not scaring him off um, with the gory details. And I think we all feel that that we have to kind of uh, do that tightrope walk of saying enough that they'll take it seriously, but not saying so much that we're like scaring them off, grossing them out, whatever. Like. That's a that's a tough place to be in, especially as someone who is uh, already in a place of profound psychological and biological struggle. So I I want to reframe this question, um, and and instead of asking how do we tell a partner in the right way, I want to ask what is the right way. For your partner to respond to you because with the right partner or a right partner that is just to say someone who is respectful honoring thoughtful and adequately committed to work through this with you or to be there for you um with with that partner you could come to them with just the messiest kind of disclosure. You could be tearful. You could be kind of unclear in your communication. You can teach them nothing about eating disorders in that conversation. And they are going to say, I love you. What do you need? More or less. That the spirit of their response is going to be, I'm here for you. What do we need to do? And with someone who does not have those qualities, is not respectful, honoring, thoughtful, committed, we can come at them with just like the most uh, eloquent treatise on eating disorders, um, you know, be totally clear about what we're going through, what we need, you could have a citations list and they're not going to respond well. They may shame you. They may get stuck in advice giving. They may withdraw. I mean, all kinds of possibilities um, that may come from someone who just ain't it for this process. So really like the pressure is off of you as the sick and struggling person to make this interaction go right. And it's so, um, it's so tempting to believe that we can control the other person's response. Um, cause we want to, and, and, and we want to be responded to well and lovingly, like you deserve that. Um, and we, can't control other people. They are, they are who they are at a given time, and they make their decisions at a given time. So let's talk about um, what we want from them, and then I want to come back to a, a little bit of nuance because we don't expect our partners to be mind readers either. 
we do want to communicate effectively enough. But so what we want from the partner is, um, just kidding, reverse. Let's talk about <laughs> clear communication. Okay, so rather than forcing you, the sick and struggling person, to be the educator on eating disorders of your partner, they can just take a ride out on the information superhighway. They can Google that shit. I recommend NIDA's website, National Eating Disorders Association's pretty well organized and comprehensive website. They're, they're, you know, mainstream, like it's not my favorite information on eating disorders, but it's good enough. And they have a section, um, I'm quite sure, for uh, support people, loved ones supporting people with eating disorders, um, you know, about what's, what's helpful, what's not helpful, what eating disorders are very basically, et cetera. I'll try to link that. Um, in the caption and I also love the Eating Disorder Institute um, website which is a little harder to navigate but lots of very high quality information about eating disorders and um, about what's needed in recovery about what's needed from loved ones and support people um, and so I'll link to Eating Disorder Institute below also so you could say, um, here are these like maybe two things. One, I, I need you to learn a little bit about eating disorders because this is like um, a, a kind of life controlling struggle for me. Use your words in your truth. But this is really big for me and, um, and I need you to know a little bit about it. So. Here are these two websites, uh, go to town. Second thing, specific to this asker, but I gotta say, this is everybody with an eating disorder. No diet and exercise advice. No advice, probably, period. There's a little flexibility around that, I think, when people are supporting us in eating, but if it's just like kind of the standard diet and exercise advice, right out. Absolutely not. So hard boundary. Second thing, no diet and exercise talk. If you want, you can, you can um, be a little generous with them about this and say, look, I know that it's, it's hard to have a partner who's struggling you want to fix it, you care about me, and this is what you know to give me, you, this, this conventional diet and exercise advice. But I'm telling you that it's very damaging to me, and so I need you to, to not do it. Uh, and so let's say you give them those two things, I think that's pretty clear, right? I, some variation of, I got an eating disorder, I'm really struggling. Here are a couple resources for you to, to learn about it. Um, and no diet and exercise advice because that's very harmful to me. They should take those things and run with them or at least sit with them. If they don't, then I think that's, that's some important information about the relationship and this partner and um, the, the capacity that's there or the willingness that's there. And uh, you get to decide if um, when you do this, this pretty clear disclosure, if your partner doesn't respond well, like is, is that what you want at this point in your recovery process? in your life ever, maybe. Um, and of course, I'm not telling you what to do and, and all of this is complicated and relationships are complicated, but I think it's important to have a very clear idea of what you deserve from a, a supportive partner, what a supportive partner's response to this looks like. Because eating disorders are hard, recovery is fucking hard, 
and um, it gets harder from that that critical moment of the of the disclosure. It gets harder from there. And so you want the partner who, with alacrity, was like, let me learn, let me support you, what do you need? You want that person to take the next steps with you. The person that it's like pulling teeth um, or that gives you a response that leaves you feeling worse That could um, be something of a liability in your recovery process. So it's just something to think about. Uh, again, it's it's not it's not a, a binary necessarily like the great partner and the shit partner. <laughs> um, but I'm just giving general guidelines here. So so what do you think about that? Like that that proposal. Two things. It's not on you to educate them, so you're going to give them some resources. Um, boundary around diet and exercise. And then, and then they get to decide what they want to do with that. So that's my response. What I hope that you're taking from this is that the, the onus is not on you as the sick person to get this exactly right so that your partner will respond in the right way and you're not too much and you're not too messy and uh, you know there's nothing to apologize for and and all of that the, the, there you're not too messy and you're not too sick and you've already got nothing to apologize for nothing to apologize for nothing to be ashamed of the onus is on your partner to respond well to you supportively to you Maybe they don't know exactly what to do. That's okay. They don't know about eating disorders. Fine. Let them learn. Let them lean in to you. Lean in lovingly and supportively in response to whatever you're able to give them. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is hard. The stakes can feel really high. Um, you'll, you'll get through this. You'll find what you need. We all do. We learn to do it. So sending you all the best and good luck. <laughs>